a gorgeous Thursday evening across the valley. Crystal clear skies as we look off to the east. A lot of color in the trees. And as we head into the fall season, we are seeing a nice drier stretch of weather ahead. Grace Anderson is tonight's Shields weather kid. Grace, step on out here. Now, you are from Valley City. How old are you? 16. Okay, and what grade are you in? I'm a junior. And where do you go to school? I'm homeschooled. Homeschooled? Okay, what are some of your favorite things to do in school and otherwise? I like English and science, and I like gymnastics most of the time. Oh, okay, very good. Well, we won't do much gymnastics here, but we will do some science. Are you ready to talk about the weather? Yes. Okay, why don't you step over here with me and point out the temperature in Fargo it's for everybody? 67 right now. Good, and how about the wind? What's going on there? South, southeast, and 10 miles an hour. Very good. Now, in Grand Forks, does the sky look different? It's pretty clear, and it's 67. Very good. Light winds, and today's winds are from the south, and that's warming things up over what we saw yesterday. Grace, point out a couple of temperatures across eastern North Dakota for me. 64 in Valley City, 68 in Sisseton, and 64 in Langdon. Very good work. Let's sneak over here so we can take a peek out into Minnesota, and let me know what you see out there. Point out a couple readings. 61 in Detroit Lakes, and 64 in Three River Falls. All right, and we have upper 50s in Bemidji, and that is where we have quite a bit of uh, this white stuff. What is that white stuff that we're seeing there? Clouds. Yeah, so we have a few clouds continuing to be pesky across Minnesota. Cloud-free skies across North Dakota. And we really have to zoom the view out to see anything in the form of precipitation. Tell people what you're seeing out there by the Great Lakes. It is very heavy rain and cloudy. Very good. And as we take a look off to the west into the Rocky Mountains, what do you see out there from Billings down to Denver? Cloudy and light rain. Very good. So we are right in the middle of two weather-making systems, and that sets us up for a pretty good stretch of weather. How about if they're going out tonight, folks at home, what can they expect temperature-wise by 10 o'clock? It will be cooler, about 54 in Fargo, and cloudy. Very good. A few clouds down to the south. I do think we'll see a few high clouds, but I don't expect uh, all clouds out there. As we go through the overnight, what happens to our temperatures? They are dropping to 49 and 52 in Jamestown. Very good. And uh, does it look real sunny or does it look like we'll have a fair amount of clouds again? No, it'll be a fair amount. Of clouds. Good. And we could see some patchy fog as well. Now, as we go from your Friday morning uh, with temperatures uh, around 50 degrees to the lunch hour, what happens? We're going into some larger wind with 13 miles an hour and 64 in Fargo while it's clear. Very good. So we'll have sunshine south, more clouds north and east, and temperatures climbing to the 60s. How about the afternoon after work and after school? Does it look like afternoon, a good day? It's warming up and it'll be 73 in Fargo and 67 in Jamestown. Good. And even along the international border and out east, we should enjoy low to mid 60s in those locations for a change as well. Tomorrow evening, if uh, folks are going out to football games, does, uh, it, does it look like we have to worry about rain or anything like that? No, just some clouds and low temperatures. Okay, very good. Some clouds and cooling weather. How about the morning bus stop forecast for your friends in Valley City? 48 and mostly sunny. Very good. And then if you happen to get recess to go out for lunchtime, what can you expect there? 63 and lots of sunshine. All right, sounding great in Valley City. How about the after school forecast? 71. Okay, just a perfect day to get out and enjoy some football or gymnastics if you do that outside. Point out temperatures out in uh, eastern North Dakota tomorrow after school. It'll be 69 in Jamestown and 67 in Devil's Lake. Okay, and across Minnesota it'll be slightly cooler. A few more clouds. Point out some of the cooler spots that you see there. 65 in Bemidji and 66 in Wadena. All right, do you know what these are called, by the way? The Northern Lights. Yeah, they were out last night, and I got to tell you, as we took a look at that, this photo was from Mapleton, taken by our very own Robert Hahn, up late keeping his eyes on the skies. Here's another one from Melissa, and she was near Harwood. Just look at the colors there. Here's a look at your planning forecast. Why don't you go over Saturday for us real quick? Saturday, it'll be 72 and a low of 51. Excellent. And then for Sunday, we still look dry and in the 70s, but what happens next week, Grace? It will be raining all week, and it'll the temperatures will go down. Right, so a little more unsettled weather returns to the valley as we go through next week. So prepare for that and enjoy the dry weather while we have it. Grace, you did a very nice job. I can tell you <laughs> like the science. You knew what all the sciencey weather stuff was. Thank you. You're a natural. You're a natural, Grace. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so 